Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to an epic rap battles of history. I I have been a big fan of these for a while now. Um, I've watched all of them, I think, or pretty much all of them. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just this is really fresh. It's uh, from today. It's really really new. Three thousand three hundred nineteen views. So yeah, let's just jump right into this. Vlad the Impaler versus Count Dracula. Um, I mean, I guess. Maybe they're gonna bring up uh, the... Um, I mean, these are basically the same guy. It's like, Count Dracula is obviously the, the fantasy version of uh, Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler was a real-life um, uh, emperor. And, uh, yeah... He was uh, known for impaling his enemies on, uh, yeah, he, he used to impale his enemies. Uh, so, um, yeah, and uh, after his, uh, he was a real life inspiration for the, for Count Dracula. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, let's just ride, hop right into this. I'm already talking too much. Um, let's go. Okay. Imagine forests of corpses dripping on a buffet. You call that a nightmare, I call that a Tuesday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, obviously, you know, referencing his um, impaling of enemies. Dracula's born of the devil, dipping my bread in your weeping blood vessel. Alright, <laughs> I inspire fear, you inspire Count Chocula, that's pretty hilarious. If you don't know who Count Chocula is, just google it, it's a... Yeah, just google it. Pretty hilarious comparison though. And, uh, yeah. Let's just keep going. To the Turks and the body started dropping Put my foot on ottomans like I was furniture shopping <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, that's pretty nice. Put my foot on ottomans, uh... Hey, what did you say? <laughs> like I was furniture shopping. <laughs> yeah, all right. Because I was also the the um, um, the country uh, the where the Ottomans lived, uh, the Ottoman Empire, obviously. So, uh, but also the furniture, the Ottoman. Yeah. Furniture shop. I love, by the way, how the fucking uh, Ottoman is impaled. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty hilarious, to be honest. I save my steaks, no need crucifix. I kill you with Olive Garden garlic bread sticks. Butcher men, women, and children like cows. Put more meat on swords than Fogo the child. What? Children like cows. Put more meat on swords than Fogo. Is Fogo the Chow the, the, um, is that the, uh, guy, uh, like, Salt Bay? Yeah. What? What the fuck? A Brazilian steakhouse? Um... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. I did not know about this, but um, yeah. I guess it's just a steakhouse that serves these. Uh, that serves some meat on these um, spiky. I don't know what what is it called. Yeah. Okay. Not with that disguise, you're not. Personally known for intrigue and desire, I shape shift into mist and bone when all the riders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Okay. 
pair of hot collar and a damn nice cake. Well, you've got less taste than an and rice cake. Wait, let's shape shift into mist and bone when all the riders lick hair, pop collar and a damn nice cake. Well, you've got less taste than an and rice cake. Your rhymes. What? And rice cake? Oh, okay. She was a used author who wrote uh, the uh, Chronicle of Vampires, I guess. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. They're empty, like I leave vascular systems. I grant you the privilege of being Dracula's victim. Like okay. I've got less taste than an and rice cake. Your rhymes are empty, like I leave vascular systems. I grant you the. Okay, your rhymes are empty like I leave vascular systems, obviously, because he sucks the blood out of his victims. Okay, I get it. I get it. Privilege of being Dracula's victim, but the thought of biting you makes me get nauseous. You don't look like the type that's keen on neck washes. <laughs> okay. If those punchlines, if they missed. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That was the best line so far. <laughs> Did you shapeshift those lines because they missed? That's pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> Alright, that's that's I don't know if that's a haymaker, but that's for sure like a the best line so far. Let's run that back. Did you shapeshift those punchlines? Because they missed. It feels like your reflection. It doesn't exist. Ooh. Oh getting it with the vampire punchlines, obviously. <laughs> Because uh, it's pretty common knowledge, but uh, the the uh, you know always in stories vampires don't have a reflection in the mirror. Yeah, so he basically says your skills are like uh, when you look in the mirror. I don't get that. I don't get that one. Like your reflection. It doesn't exist. Turn your taint. Okay. What is a taint? I'm not a native speaker, so you have to forgive me now. Yeah, I don't I don't get this. If somebody could explain that to me. I don't get this one for sure. So yeah. If you guys want to tell me about it, just go ahead, you know. I, I really do not understand this one. Do it is. Put a stick through ya. Seen a sucker this soft. Sit for Ricula. Get beat by Count Dracula. You're smoking Cracula. I think I'm in Wackula. Raps like I'm Shackula. Flat to the bone. Fuck. Jesus Christ. That was so bad. Oh my god. That whole scheme was so whack. Sit for Ricula. Get beat by Count Dracula. You're smoking Cracula. I don't you're smoking Cracula, that. <laughs> Jesus, I dunk on your Wackula. Wackula raps like I'm Shackula. I fly to the bone, fly the hot nailer. Fly the commits, hit a sax on rat as the jailer. You leached my name, you pale son of a bitch. And your weak ass gets beat by the sun at the beach. Your <laughs> slick hair and cape are all flappy razzle dazzle. But at the end of the day, you're a bat. And that's only half a battle. So beat by the sun at the beach. Your slick hair and cape are all flappy, razzle dazzle. But at the end of the day, you're a bat, and that's only half a battle. Oh, okay. That's also a pretty good line. You know uh, the. Um I mean, this, this is pretty whack. Are all flappy razzle dazzle? You're a bat, and that's only half a battle. Obviously, because in the word battle, half of the word battle is bat. Okay. Oh, I did not know that you could read. That's great. Now let's see if you can bleed. <laughs> you thought the sun could kill me? Not true. I'm the vampire so cold they call me Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's a bad bar though. Holy shit, that's a bad bar. Jesus Christ. Sun kill me? Not true. I'm the vampire so cold they call me Nosferatu. I'm the vampire so cold they call me Nosferatu? Jesus Christ, that is so fucking bad. Holy shit. 
My syllable delivery is devilish intricate I rock the house one time and put it into it And here's a tidbit that you can stick a stake up You're losing so bad you should join Team Jacob What? You're losing so bad you should join Team Jacob? I don't get that I'm just googling this but I'm not expecting anything Oh, okay, okay, I get it. It's, yeah, yeah, obviously because in Twilight uh, there is the, uh, the obviously there are vampires and the enemies of the vampires of the wolves, and so he's saying, uh, yeah, so he's pretty much saying you should be Team Jacob. You can stick a stake up. You're losing so bad. You should join Team Jacob. Renfield. Yes, master. Call a doctor. Not sure. Because <laughs> Blood the Impaler has just been skewered. You're not really gonna say Vlad the Impaler one. I mean, Count Dracula had some really whack ass lines, and Vlad the Impaler uh, he had some good lines in there. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, he had some pretty good lines. Like the the whole beginning of this, like this was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, did you shape shift those punch punch lines because they missed was probably one of the best lines of this battle. Mist skills like your reflection. It doesn't. Yeah, and that that too. Exist. Turn your day to a tiz. I put a stick through ya. Seen a sucker this soft. It's ridiculous. It's beat by Count Dracula. You're smoking Dracula. I dunk on your wackula. Raps like I'm Shaquille. Yeah, and his beginning verse was also decent. You wanna poof it? You call that a nightmare? I call that a Tuesday. Flat Dracula, spawn of the devil. Yeah, the Ottoman thing was good as well. Yeah, I mean for sure, Latin pilot for sure won. Yeah, I mean this was definitely not one of their best battles. Like I feel like there was much more potential for wordplay in this. Just didn't really deliver. Like it was still cool, but it wasn't as insane as like some of the others. Like this was a really good one. Uh, Theater Roosevelt versus Winston Churchill was also a good one. Like there, there are so many good ones, but this is for sure not one of the best. Yeah, but uh, for sure, Vlad the Impaler one. Let me know if you think the same down in the comments below. Um, if you want me to react to, uh, uh, I mean, I have watched all of them, I think. I would rewatch them if you would want me to, and I could give my rating. Um, I don't know if that's going to be as interesting, but I have not heard these in a while, actually, most of them. So if you want to, I could probably listen to them. But yeah, this was pretty cool. Um, I c actually, I don't know what are my top five. For sure, the Jack the Ripper versus Hannibal Lecter ones. Uh, that's uh, one of the best. Actually, don't know. That's uh, that's actually. Um, uh, let's go to their channel. The Mother Teresa vs Sigmund Freud was really good. That's for sure. This one was also pretty good. This is for sure not in the top, uh, in the top ones, but, um, yeah, this is really good. Okay, let's look at them. Wonder, Wo Wonder Woman vs. Steve Wonder is actually one of my favorites. I think that's top five for sure. Then the James Bond vs. Austin Powers. Um, mm, yeah, Alexander the Great vs. Ivan. Deadpool vs. Boba Fett. I think I would have to make a top 10 because there are some that are really good. But uh, Jack the Ripper vs. Hannibal Lecter is for sure one of the best ones. Zeus vs. Like, the most savage is for sure Zeus vs. Thor. It's still the hardest one to this day. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. If you want to, uh, if you want me to react to the other ones, you can just go ahead and um, 
Yeah, just tell me in the comments if I should listen to the other ones. Oh yeah, this one's really good as well. Yeah. That's about it. I don't want to keep you waiting. I'm going to leave the link to the to the original down in the description if you want to check it out for yourselves. And uh, yeah, tell me if I should react to the other ones. I have seen most of them, so this won't be that... Uh, that I don't know. Just tell me. Um, yeah, that was for the, uh, th that was pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, see you next time.